The issue that those of us have who were born in the pre-digital era, and that includes most of our teachers today, is that we lived in two cultures. We lived in a culture when things were hard, when they were physical, when you had to learn the keyboard and you had to learn the violin and you had to do that in order to make good music. And now there's a new culture that we're struggling to learn, which is this digital culture, where things are in many ways more simple and work in very different ways. Our task is to adapt to that new culture and not say the way we learned to do it, which was the only way we could, is the right way or the best way. The way I think that teachers can really benefit is by taking the position, not I teach my subject, which is music, but I teach my students. And that's what the best teachers say. And if you focus on the students and their musicality and what they have inside them and what you can help them get out of what's inside them in terms of music, then I think you will be a very effective music teacher and we will always need good music teachers. I have an eight-year-old son and I think a lot about how to help kids move into this new world. But it turns out that they are doing a lot of this on their own. And it's, there's less for me to do than I would have imagined. My son comes to me and says, look at what I'm doing, look at what I'm creating, look at the music I've made, look at the program I found, look at the songs that I found. Because he, by himself and with his classmates and friends, are always exploring on the computer. So it's not really for me. What I have to do, my job as a parent, and all our job as a parent, is to listen. To listen very carefully to what his interests are and what he would like to be able to do. I can expose him, I can take him to the theater, I can take him to concerts, and I do. And maybe he's going to say, I want to play the violin or I want to play the guitar and I'll be happy to help him learn. But I want to know what he wants to do. I will not push him in any directions. I'll expose him, but I have a feeling that he will come to what he needs without my help and guidance except to make him better. I say, well, here's how you learn Stairway to Heaven. We can play it. Uh, you can take your little computer and, and play the notes if you want to. You can record them once. You can make a loop. Now you have the melody to Stairway to Heaven. Let's add some harmony. What do you think some chords would be that would go nicely with Stairway to Heaven? Okay, what are the instruments that would work well? Well, let's make those chords sound like they're on a guitar with a fuzz box. Let's make this happen. And all we have to do to do that is to push a few buttons. Now let's create something that didn't used to exist. That's the old way Stairway to Heaven was played. How would you play Stairway to Heaven? How would you create it? How would you make it your own music and get it out of you using these tools that are in front of you that you know how to use, that have been your tools since you were a kid? And now, oh, there's a new tool. How can you make it even better because of that new tool? How can you collaborate with your friends? How can you say, well, I'm very good at the rhythm, but I'm not so good at the melody. Can I get a melody person? Can I get a harmony person? That's how we put bands together in the past. And so, the tools are there for him to collaborate, for him to do it himself, for him to go and experiment in new ways and to create new sounds and to create the music that's inside his head. My sense is there's not a lot of education that we need. The reason for that is that it's, what you can do is learn very easily from other people. Most of the learning that counts in these kind of tools is peer-to-peer. -to -peer. So you need to find somebody your age, for example, who knows how to do this stuff. And you need to find a kid who knows how to do this stuff. And you need to work with them. And that's really something that you can do on your own and you should do it with people that you like and that you care about and that you want to make music with. And that'll be something that you can do in your own way. I don't think that that's really hard. I think the hardest part is the attitude. The part that says, oh my God, I'm confronted with something totally new. I only know the old ways of doing it. I spent so many years learning those old ways. I think it's a lot better to say, you know, 
I live in a different town. I live in a different world. I'm adapting. I'm going to do what they do in that town. I'm going to do it the new way. But what I'm going to bring from the past is everything I know about what music is and how to attract people and reach people emotionally through sound.